everyone, it's Kristen from The Crafty Kitchen. I got quite a lot of emails asking if I could show a tutorial on how to make the tri-shutter card I made the other day. This is my little Thanksgiving tri-shutter card. Um, so I thought I would throw another one together really quick for you today. I have a lot of the prep work already done, but I'm going to walk you through just how to make one and then you can decorate it how you'd like. So let's begin. The first thing you need is a piece of base card stock that's five and a half by twelve. Okay, and I have my Martha Stewart scoreboard out here. And you're going to score at two inches, four inches, eight inches, and ten inches. Okay. okay so after you have it scored, looks a little something like this and now we're going to cut which is what's going to make our little shutter so on one side you need to line it up at one and a half inches and you're gonna start right at this top score line and you're gonna cut all the way down to your bottom score line and then you're gonna flip it over Line it up at one and a half again. And do the same thing. Okay. And that way you have your slit. Put our paper trimmer away. Grab our bone folder back real quick. Now we need to fold our card uh, over and under. So you're going to do over, crease it, and then under, crease it, over, and then under. Okay, so when you unfold it, it's going to look like this. What you have to do is take these top ones and fold them in the other direction. So it should look like a diamond when you're done. Okay? And when you're done, I like to fold it back up and then just crease it really nice on the sides so that way it'll stay folded that way. Okay? So that is the base. For your card and you open it up and it sits like that and when you close it up it makes an A2 size card okay. so now it's time to decorate all of my papers are from um, the DCWV it's called the winter combo I don't know if this is new or not I just saw it at Joanne's the other day um, and picked it up because I don't really have any winter paper so all my papers are from here I went ahead and cut and matted all of my pattern papers already, but I wanted to give you the measurements so you are able to do it yourself because I put a different piece of paper in between every one of the score lines. So let me read to you and I'll put them up on the screen and underneath this video exactly what you need for each little score line. For the front and back panels, which is this right here and this right here, these are two by five and a half inches long okay so for the mat it's one and three quarters by five and a quarter and then your pattern paper is obviously a quarter smaller than that the top and the bottom uh, these four little squares right here are one and a half by two so you need to cut your paper at one and a quarter by one and three quarters you need four of those um, these are one and a half by four so you'd cut your paper at one and a quarter by three and three quarters. You need two of those. In the middle, you have these two uh, rectangles. They're two and a half by two inches, which means you need to cut your paper at two and a quarter by one and three quarters. And the one in the middle where your sentiment goes is two and a half by four. So you need to cut at two and a quarter and three and three quarters. So I'll write all of those down for you. 
so you can have them easily at hand. And also for my turkey card, I cut a three by five inch mat to put on the front just to kind of make it look a little more like an actual card when it's shut. So I went ahead and I did that as well. I cut a three by five inch white mat and then I layered it with pattern paper. Uh, the front of my card, I cut the reindeer from Create a Critter. I used glitter paper for his nose and for his scarf. And he is cut at three and three quarter inches. And he's going to hang off a little bit on the mat, but that's okay because he'll still be smaller than the card, than the outside of the card, so it'll be fine. And then my sentiment is also from Create a Critter. And I cut it at one and a half inches. And it's the phrase that goes with the reindeer. It says joy. And there's a snowflake in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to put all these together and I'll come back and show you the finished project. All right, I'm back and I'm totally finished. So let me show you exactly what I did. I put glue dots on my reindeer here and put him on the 3x5 card. And then I glued the 3x5 card to here, 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 and here just to kind of make it more stable. So when you open it up, let me see if I can lay it flat so you can see it. It looks like this. There's all my pattern paper from that DCWV stack. Um, the little snowflakes, I put one there, one there, and then one that you can really not see over there. It, I used um, the Martha Stewart uh, Glitter Stamping Starter Kit. My friend Matt got this for me. So Matt, if you're watching this, hi. Thanks for the kit. I love it. <laughs> and it comes with uh, the glue, the, cra the craft pad, and different glitters. I used my turquoise glitter, which I already had and a snowflake stamp that came in the kit. So it's really, really, really glittery and cute. There's my joy. I think I'm gonna put some stickles on the snowflake after we're done here with the video. Um, and I used my crocodile and sat some, uh, set some 3 16th inch eyelets around the joy. And when you set it up, it will set like this. I know it's hard to see because the camera's at an angle, but when it sets up, you can see every single part of it. And you can read the joy, you can see the reindeer. And it's really, really cute. Before I go, I just wanted to show you the back. I don't know if you can read that. But it says, Created by Kristen. That's me. And um, while I was at Michael's the other day, I had my little 50% off coupon from Oprah. And I saw this kit. It's called the Custom Stamp Setting Kit. I've never seen this before. So I don't know if it's new or just not popular or what, but I've never seen it. And basically what's in it is you get two uh, rectangle blocks with little lines set in them to set your uh, stamp. And you get two circle blocks. And then you get two sets of like a typeset font and then one set of like a monogram script font. And you can lay them out on the block however you want and make your own custom stamps. And it also comes with two round sort of frames for monograms. And I use a 50% off coupon. I got it for really cheap. And it's really, really, really nice. Um, so I can make my own stamp on the back. So this is what this one says. This is created by Kristen. And I think that's cute. Just let everybody know that I made it. It's homemade. <laughs> so I hope you like this card. Please try the Tri Shutter cards. They're really not as hard as you think. A lot of people told me that they were scared to try them. So give it a try. It's really easy, really cute. So here's my winter one. And here's my fall one, side by side. Uh, I love Creative Critter, obviously. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, uh, drop me an email. I always answer my emails, so just let me know. I hope you enjoyed this card, and have a fabulous day.